Okay, so now we're going to be moving on to the Nintendo Switch. And um, because the Nintendo Switch has the same audio HDMI behavior as the PlayStation 5, uh, everything on the Nintendo Switch will be using the Chatlink Pro for game audio. And I think there's no better game to start with the, uh, the side of things on the Nintendo Switch. So the newest game I have for it, and that's Splatoon 3, which I actually made as a purchase alongside the Chatlink Pro and the headset I have, but I'll be using it. So uh, yeah, Splatoon 3. Um, this has been quite the popular series. It's definitely a game I wish I'd played more of because from what I have played a bit at times, I have really enjoyed it. Um, I think at its core, it's still a big multiplayer game, but it has, um, it has had some simple, uh, single player elements added in over time, but I think the meat of the game is still its multiplayer and the way it works. I'm not sure how this is going to work. Like I said, this is the first time I'm ever booting it up. So this is going to be interesting. Splatfish region settings. I think this is like... The eSports side of things, I guess? I'm not actually sure, to be honest. Okay, so we're in Europe, that's cool. We'll change it. Uh, no, we'll set it, sorry. And because the Nintendo Switch is a, uh, a ground loop like console with the created ground loop, I've switched on the uh, Chatlink Pro uh, ground isolator on so you won't hear the humming and stuff. Uh, let's do this one. Uh, guess we'll go with that color. Huh? Where is, where is brown on here? I guess that's it. That seems the most brown to me. It's actually these mixed colors, which is interesting. Yeah, I would say that was probably the closest. Hopefully we can change it later. Make the cut. There's not a lot of options here, but you know, like I said, first time booting up the game. Uh, I like this one. I love the third one, I think. Yeah. Last thing, leg wear. It's pretty cool how you go through and they start like showing more of the character. Uh, the, the John Cena shorts. <laughs> Probably might just go with those actually. Or those ones. Um. Hmm. I think they're probably the closest to the, the John Cena shorts. <laughs> yep. Little buddy's turn. Oh, you can customize this guy. Okay. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, let's have... To that one, I guess. Aim for the little simplified buddy. Tilt the controller to move your rectangle. Oh god, can we not? <laughs> Face words at the clearest view. Oh god. So this is gonna be the tutorial section. I kinda of wanna turn these motion controls off. Okay. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. 
pretty much checks out. Although I want to turn off the collision control. Pretty much everything checks out from previous Splatoon games. It's good to know. I'm actually using the Pro Controller, but it's got motion controls on it. Not, I wouldn't say I'm not a fan of it, but I am struggling. I would, I would rather aim with the right stick, because I'm so used to it. Since Splatoon 3 is so new, I'll definitely do an actual session and a proper one later on. Best be to swim even be to jump even and swim for. Swim through grades. Oh really? Wow. That's good for movability. Oh yeah, I remember this. Shit. I might, I might make this video a separate one for now, just kind of going through the tutorial because I've not played it for a while. So probably what I'm going to end up doing make this separately away from the memory just put it off as a one-off video play the Splatoon tutorial. Oh wait, is that not supposed to do that? Ink that wall. Wall B for a sec. I think I'm supposed to do something, but oh, it, oh, bombs! Bombs is right. Bomb it. Didn't run away. Then pop in, swim for. Hold on. I think I've got it. Switch. I'm not sure what he's trying to tell me. On to the Splatsville City of Chaos. <laughs> okay. I've always loved the hub world in Splatoon. I've always been rather fun. Fun places to look around and see people. Yeah, I might make this a one-off video and then do the multiplayer as another one. I should have known there'd probably be a tutorial when I need it because, you know, I've never... I haven't played Splatoon in a co probably a couple of years. Definitely a while. I, I should have played more of this series. I really should have. Two, three. No. Nah. Yeah, I think people were pissed because they got rid of the original announcers. Single player? Oh, 
Oh. Great Sharpish is gone. Huh. Set the temps to a cool 90 degrees. <laughs> right? <laughs> Yeah, I'm pretty sure people were pretty pissy because they got rid of the original announcers, and I kind of understand that, I guess. I don't have much attachment to it, but... Online battle, so that's the online lobbies. Okay. So that dude is seriously scoping from the sewer. <laughs> okay. Now, Bobby, we'll follow that weirdo in the sewer. Up to you. We might as well jump straight into the multiplayer because I need to change these controls. Um, other. Okay, here we go. Left, right, motion controls off. Up, down, we'll have normal. Handheld mode. Uh, we'll turn motion controls to hand off. Uh, handheld mode as well. <clears throat> oh yeah, you can always change your style later. I think more of unlocked actually. Look, seems to be like more choices now. They're more like trousers. Can you change the shoes? I would probably say those were more like the John Cena shorts actually now that I think about it. Well, actually, that's the one I've already picked. Freshest fits. What button is that? Okay, whoa. You can save your current weapons and gear. Oh no, I don't wanna do that. I don't wanna do that yet. You can have an amiibo. Wow. I don't, I think, I really, I don't know if I've still got them, but I did have a collection of amiibos, but I'm not sure if I have them anymore with the move. Uh, let's go with these. It's quite like that one. Although it's not really my hair. <laughs> so none of these are really my hair, so I'm pretty much just going random. It looks like the closest. I mean, probably that one is still a bit too thick for my liking. <laughs> but uh, yeah, obviously we can't customize a lot because, you know, we, haven't, we just bought the game, uh, booted it up. So yeah, pretty much as expected. Okay. So I guess we'll go straight into online, because, you know, we haven't unlocked anything yet, so we might as well jump straight in. And what's pretty cool is you can actually see other Switch players, which is pretty neat. I'm not even sure, this is 60 frames, it doesn't feel like it. But maybe that's the case in the hub world. Alright, let's go into here then, and um, play our first online match in Splatoon 3. It's your patrol to online battles and where you stash all your gear. As you splat forth in online battles, you'll level up and earn cash to boot. Why level up and get that cash? So you can access and afford the freshest gear in Splatsville. Some battle modes are restricted to players of high level too, so get that level up. Fair enough. Why don't you check the battle part over there and select regular battle. That's to get into a turf war battle, your team have three minutes to ink the most stuff. <laughs> hey, let's chat more splat, let's get started. <laughs> 